The UK has made a legally binding commitment that it will achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. One of the most difficult parts of the economy to decarbonise is the heat supplied to homes and businesses across the country. Currently, 86% of homes, that's 24 million households, use natural gas, which is a fossil fuel, for their heating. If the UK is to achieve net zero, this will have to change. But how? Mott MacDonald and the Net Zero Infrastructure Industry Coalition has explored three possible pathways to getting there. The first pathway is electrification. In this scenario, most people will use electricity to heat their homes. This will require up to 18 million households to be fitted with a heat pump. It will also need a massive increase in electric generation capacity, from renewable energy such as wind and solar, as well as from nuclear power. Transmission and distribution infrastructure will need to be improved and extended. A second possibility is a hydrogen pathway. In this scenario, most people will heat their homes using hydrogen instead of natural gas. This pathway may not require such a large increase in electricity generation, but it would require large-scale investment in as yet untested technology and infrastructure. There are technical and safety challenges to be overcome before it can be proved to be viable. Thirdly, there is a hybrid pathway. This scenario would see around half the UK's houses heated with electricity, as they would be in the electric pathway. However, millions of others would be fitted with hybrid heating systems, which would normally run on electricity, but include a gas backup for peak usage. The gas component would be replaced over time with low carbon gases, such as hydrogen or biomethane, enabling a flexible transition but significant extra electricity generation and some hydrogen production would be needed. It is too early to say which of these pathways is the best for the UK, because the choice depends on the development of key technologies, such as hydrogen production, advanced nuclear reactors and carbon capture and storage. We need to demonstrate and prove these technologies over the next five years. Different choices may be required for different parts of the country, and the problem has to be approached from a systems perspective. In the meantime, there are some actions that will be needed whichever pathway is taken, such as deploying more heat pumps and hybrid heat pumps, increasing our capacity for electricity generation and transmission, and doing everything we can to improve the energy efficiency of buildings.